The new Gemini 2.0 Flash with image generation capabilities is extremely useful and 100% free. I'm going to give you three practical use cases on how you can use this new image generation capabilities from Google today so you can start using it for your e-commerce store or any type of design. Number one is imagine you've done a photo shoot and you've got, you're selling some clothing. You've done a lot of photo shoots with the model and you forgot to get a item of clothing on them. So let's say the item of clothing is this jacket here. And let's say the model is this. This is me back in the day when I had a ponytail, not the point of this. And all I've done is said, can you please make it so that the man in the image is wearing the blue jacket from the other image? I did all that. It took a couple of seconds and it did just that. It took the blue jacket and placed it in myself. Pretty spot on considering that was a, such a simple way to do this. Now, a couple of key components here. My eyes are slightly changed, but let's say I wanted to put this on a carousel in something like Instagram, not bad at all. And with all these images, you need to know that obviously when I have them here, they will have the AI image generation tag from, from Google itself as a safety component, which is fair enough. But use case number one, forgot to take an image of someone wearing a piece of clothing that you want them to wear. No problems. Now, it works best if you do have a white background of the clothing item, but I'll show you how to do that in a second because that's no longer a problem. Number two is <laughs> sometimes you get an image that isn't AI image generated. So let's say you found something on Getty Image or Adobe Stock and it's the perfect image, but it has that pesky watermark. Well, that's no longer a problem. I've downloaded this image here and it's got this watermark here and I've just told it, please remove the watermark from this image. And if we take a look at the image, it did just that. Pretty incredible. Now, that was a very simple watermark. And if you do something more intense, like this one here, which has a lot of watermarks and this one here, the image output will be a little bit blurry and a little bit funky. So it works for simple watermarks. And you could this, you could do this also using something like Canva. Let's try it now and see the differences, compare them. So I've got Canva here opened and I'm going to use the magic eraser from Canva. You do need the premium, the plus version from Canva. And I'm going to try and do the magic eraser and just erase this here. And let's see how it turns out. I'm going to go erase. And not too bad, but you can see if I zoom in, it's actually got some little funkiness and it removed a little bit of the hand there, which isn't the worst thing, but this is a paid tool, remember? Let's have a look at what Google did here. If I make the image larger so we can take a look at it. The hand is perfect. There's really no removal of any section of that hand. Pretty good. I guess Google is better at removing stuff than paid version of Canva. The final the final use case is getting professional stock image of a product that you have, but let's say you don't have the tools to take a nice image. Let's take this for example, right? I took an image here of my water bottle and the image is fairly poor, just with a regular iPhone, no correct lighting or anything. And all I asked it to do was, can you turn this image of a water bottle into a professional stock image with a complete white background? Came back in a second and let's take a look at the final Let's take a look at the final component and that is pretty spot on. I can then now put this image anywhere. Let's see if I can place it in the other image that I created of myself, maybe holding the water bottle at least. But before we get into that, obviously there's no sugar code in this. I've used a very simple image. There's no logos, nothing that can get a little funky here. Let's try something more different. Let's try something more difficult live and let's see if that's gonna work. So in the same component, I took an image of this, which is just a lip balm component. But if you look at the image that I'm going to place up in the camera in the video below, it has a lot of writing to it. So this can get a little bit tricky. I'm just going to ask it to do the same for this now. I haven't added any additional instructions. I've just said, hey, now do the same, meaning do the same, place it in a real professional background, like a stock image. And I was not expecting it to be that good. Oh my good Lord. That is, that is nearly spot on. The only thing that it changed is that if you look here closely, it says 25 grams. Here it said 30 grams. But you could change that a little bit. I was expecting a lot worse, to be honest, but there you go. With components where it gets a little bit too difficult, too much writing, maybe this might not be the right tool. Now let's try and mix these two images together. Like I said before, I'm going to download the white image of my water bottle and I'm going to start a brand new conversation. I'm going to place in the image of myself. 
and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I want the best image that I can so that I'm going to give myself the highest possibility for this to look good. I'm going to add the image of myself here. I'm going to add the image of the water bottle that we just generated before here. And I'm going to ask it to, can you make it so that the man in the image is holding the water bottle on the other image? Oh, look at this. So we've got some issues here for some reason. It's a little bit too much. Not a bad first run, but let's try this one more time. I've just said it, try again. It looks way too blurry. And again, not having the best time here. So maybe molding two images like that, it's a little bit different, which is surprising because it had no issues with the actual jacket. I'm gonna try it one more time, both with the original images. So they're both non-AI generated images. I'm gonna place my original image here of myself and I'm going to place the original image that I took poorly of the water bottle and ask it to make it so that the man is holding the water bottle for, from the second image. Okay, and now a lot better. You can see that it's added me, but here's the thing again, it slightly changed my appearance, which not to the point that is, I would say, an unusable image, but it's added me. I've got Yep, four fingers and a thumb, which is good, and it looks relatively like me, but it has needed to change a couple of aspects. This is the original photo of myself, and this is the image here. It's made my face a little bit rounder, but not too bad considering this is free. And there you go, it's that easy. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, I'll leave a link to a Google Doc below so you can access that. But yeah, image generation by Google is come a long way and it's a tool that I think you can start using today. If you really like this sort of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure to give this video a like so more people see it. Cheers, I'll catch you in the next one.